Hi everyone, it's Be Divine. Welcome to Divine Miracles and our tarot course. And this tarot course is all for you and it's free. And I'm going to be talking about everything that we can imagine about uh, the tarot cards. But for today, I'm going to be talking about the pages that we find in the um, tarot deck. Okay, so as we know, in the minor arcana, we go from ace to ten. And then you get to the pages, the knights, the queens, and the kings. And it can get a little bit confusing about what's going on. But I wanted to explain uh, the pages to you um, and the different colouring and the ages, around about the ages that they are. Now this will help you when, if you're doing a reading for someone over a child or uh, maybe... Um, it comes up in a reading where there's lots of pages around which means lots of children um, and messages from children as well um, you know it, this will just really help you to get like a, an idea of what the coloring is now remember that every time you do the tarot cards every time you pull out a card it's going to mean something different in every single reading so the page of swords might mean something different in a reading depending on what the question is being asked and how your intuition plays out but I'll just tell you the basic meanings of these or well, the basic coloring and the ages of pages so all pages are generally uh, under the age of 18 okay so any any child under the age of 18 and the swords and the um, wands Okay, so the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands are generally considered to be boys, okay? The Swords and the Wands are generally considered to be boys and the Coins and the Cups are generally considered to be girls. Now, sometimes you might um, be, maybe you're going to have a baby or something and you want to know whether you're having a boy or a girl and you can shuffle the cards and if you get um, two out of three, like the yes and no spread if you got two um a coin and a cup like for the example like this then that would mean that you were having more than likely having a girl and the opposite so if you got a page and a swords when you were doing a three card uh, spread um it would mean that you were having a boy now somebody asked why why would you not do a, a pregnancy or a baby thing um, for anyone else and it does come down to ethics and I will talk to you about um, tarot ethics but just say for example someone's asking you about a baby and um, you're picking up that they're really wanting this you know and and sometimes the cards can reveal that you know there is a baby there and it's because they're really wanting it but you would feel terrible if um, they didn't have a child and you've said yes you're going to have a child and they didn't have a child so it can be tricky because obviously babies have, are a soul of their own and you know they have their own decisions whether they're going to be here or not and it's really not up to us to interpret that if you're doing it for yourself however this is why I'm telling you if you're doing it for yourself that's your own choice you know um, maybe you have a close friend and they're saying look it's okay I trust you you can you can do it for me you know it's up to you but in general rule is no medical and no legal questions being asked but anyway back to this the pages um, okay so the cups and the coins are generally females okay the page of cups the coloring would generally be a fairer shade so a blonde color um, maybe going into a mousy brown sort of coloring um, any colored eyes uh, doesn't really matter but this is the general rule for the pages now that would go for the queen the the, um, the knight and the king they'd all have that sort of coloring but they're obviously different ages all of these um, the pages are all younger children so 18 and down and they don't have any children of their own if you're doing a reading for a young person that's got a child then you wouldn't use a page as a representative for them okay you'd have to use a uh, king or a queen because they've already had children and i'll explain that as we go along so the page of cups and the coloring is any colored eyes and blonde to mousy brown hairs and you know in some cases reddish hair as well okay but the lighter shades of hair generally speaking um, the coins the coins are also more than likely female um, and the the page of coins um, they have darker hair so a female with darker hair might come up as a page of coins and they can have blue brown green doesn't matter any colored eyes as well 
but generally darker hair um, more so than like blonde or anything like that so there you go um, page of coins darker hair now the wands the page of wands again under the age of 18 um, and the wands would be more than likely a male so we're talking about a young male um, even though some of the pictures they show the feminine side it's up to you whatever you feel um, you're intuitively drawn to but this is what I've always been um, taught well I've taught myself to do just so I can separate things when I'm going along and it just more than likely works out uh, the page of wands um, is brown you'd expect browner hair um, sometimes they can have a ruddish hair like reddish brown hair um, sometimes they can be blonde because they the wands do represent the fire signs um, as well um, but um, generally speaking you were talking about brown hair um, not so much darker brown hair but brown hair reddish hair um, a ruddy a ruddy type of complexion as well freckles that kind of thing um, for the page of wands again under the age of 18 never having children these are children these are represented as younger people messengers but younger people okay um, and the swords so the sword cards are always the darkest of the lot meaning the darkest hair um, they might all have brown eyes they might have really piercing blue eyes um, but generally you're looking at a darker complexion um, for the page of swords again under the age of 18 a messenger and this would also be considered a male card so the two male cards just once again your wands and the swords and the two female cards, um, the coins and the cups. Now you'll have to look at what your deck is, what your deck represents, um, cups and coins and, and wands and swords and things. Your deck might be um, a little bit different in what they've worded it as. Um, but what you can also generally get is the cups are hearts in cardamancy, so playing cards. Cups are hearts. Um, the coins are diamonds in playing cards. The wands are the spades in, in oh, sorry, are the um, clubs in playing cards and the swords are the spades in playing cards. Again, I know all about doing readings with playing cards as well. So maybe that's something else I can show you at another time. But for now, we're doing the tarot. So the pages, all children under the age of 18, all never having children, all with different hair coloring and things. But it's not a final rule with the hair colouring. Um, sometimes you might like to get out the representative card or a significator card which will signify the person or represent the person that you're doing a reading for. And sometimes that is a younger person. So if you don't know what their star sign is, you might think to yourself, okay, what's their colouring? Okay, they've got dark hair um, and they've got really dark eyes. So um, I might use the, the page of swords for them for their reading. So it just sort of really helps you get in depth with things. Um, I will talk about the groupings of cards and all of that and just remembering that we're going bit by bit by bit so that you don't become too overwhelmed. But that is the general rule about the pages, the colouring and their ages underneath age 18, no children and the different colourings and um, eye colouring as well. It's really, really helpful to know these things and it just might spark your intuition as you're going along. So I hope that that was helpful to you. Good idea to start, you know, separating your cards into groups when you're doing a study like this, um, you know, taking one card at a time and having a really good look at it. And I'll, I'll explain to you a, a, as well how to really study um, each card so you can get the most information happening. And of course, keeping your own tarot book. So forget about all the traditional tarot books and start writing out your own. It, it'll it'll really help you, um, you know, as as you know, I've been doing tarot for a long, long time, since I was about 15, and I have possibly about 25 or 26 books full that I've written myself of notes, um, and I remember writing about the full um, in the major arcana, and I probably wrote about 10, 20 pages back and front just on, on the full for my own notes. So this is how big this can get for you okay as you're going along you just and you're doing readings you can take notes about your readings as a real study so I hope that that helped you um, as I said I'll talk with you more about the groupings of things um, the next I'm going to be talking about is the knights in the deck so stay tuned for the next video and it's goodbye for now
Bye, everyone.